Oh God. <laughs> <laughs> So it's going to be more more, more nerve-wracking, excuse me, than the challenge, I'm sure, here's how it works. I'm going to name some of your castmates, and I want you to tell me their biggest weakness. Do not hold back. I want all that bitchy oh, content, all right? Let's do it. All right, let's start off with bananas. <laughs> What's his biggest weakness? Uh, that he's old. He's <laughs> so old. He just gets tired all the time. He just wants to nap. Yeah, he doesn't days. really do much, but... <laughs> he's got he's got a lot of strength. But his getting, biggest uh, weakness is that he's he's getting old. He's, he's getting, getting old. He's got too much experience. <laughs> he's just like, come on, back in. And he's always the target because he's been on for so long that people just want to get him out of there. Yeah, people yeah. want to make a name for themselves by taking out the best ever. Right. Yeah. What about Bear? He just he's just he's just mad. He's just lost all his marbles. Yeah, he's he's, the, he's had he's too many parties. Yeah. He, um, <laughs> his thing is that he's like. He's he's actually a good competitor. People don't give him credit, but in terms of his gameplay, he he's, just he's there for a good time. That's yeah, he can't hold back. He can't hold it in. He can't stop himself from saying things that are ultimately going to get him eliminated. Yeah, he definitely stirs up a lot of drama. I will say that. All right, what about Absolutely. what about Cara Maria, champ herself? Angriest woman on the planet. Just and yeah. I mean, she yeah, she's, she's she's a nice girl, but I like she's got this legacy. But obviously, we're from the UK. We we haven't seen much of this show before, so we just turned up, and I just thought she was pretty miserable. That's yeah, no, not angry, yeah, miserable. I'm very antisocial. Like on the show, like you saw Jordan and Tori got engaged. She didn't even come out for that. Like it wasn't, like, it wasn't nice. Do you like her and Polly's relationship? Like, do you get mm. why they're together? I, I think he got with her because like she was a she's a great person to team up with on, on the show when you're doing a first season or something you want to team up with like a strong competitor and then I think it's just blossomed from there really yeah, yeah. we like Paulie yeah yeah no okay but the car is just miserable do you think she's an overrated player uh I she's no, it's she, hard she, to tell she's because she's obviously got to all these finals and, and won so many times for being a beast um She's so yeah, no, I wouldn't say she was overrated at all. No, no. Just, uh, just, just from our experience, it's miserable. Yeah, just put a smile on. What about the beast, CT? His weakness? Smokes yeah. too much. <laughs> I mean, no, yeah, he, he hasn't got, he hasn't Actually, got I didn't even stop him. Actually, I didn't even stop him. He's faultless, in my opinion. Wow. What's his weakness? That's a big thing to I'm say. Not... I mean. Yeah, I mean, maybe he's. You could say he's getting on a bit as well. Like, but he st doesn't stop him doing anything. Like, even we'd be in the gym, on, like running, and I could run for like for days, and he'd be just next to me, just chugging along. I'm like, dude, it's not a competition. Just leave it out. Well, we got to get to D, obviously, and I know Rogan, you're sick of talking about it, but you and D were romantically involved during the season, but things turned sour during the reunion. And before we take a look at that clip, I just want to know what you think her weakness is. Her biggest weakness is me. Ooh. <laughs> well played, well played. But let's take nice. a look. Let's take a look at this clip from her. That's from Stange. That's horrible, though. I don't understand. That sucks to say, like, honestly. That really sucks because, you know what? Like, I with you, I with you, and you said that to me. Like, that hurts, man. Where do you guys stand now? I've got to be honest, that's not nice to watch because. Yeah, the, it, it is what it is. Um, we, we don't we don't talk. I think I'm blocked on all social medias. Um, yeah, she, she's she... The, hard, the hardest thing is though is like because you're in a house in such close encounters, like you take things so personally and emotionally. But at the end of the day, it is a game, and I went in there to have fun, you're, and then you're going to have to I had win a bit too well. much fun with her. Right. Uh, and, and she she fell in love, but I, I can't help can't help can't help this. She's... <laughs> Can't help oh That's how I feel every day. All right, last to get cast right. on blast. What about Georgia? She's too loud. Like she could give an aspirin a headache. Full horn of a voice. <laughs> yeah, well, you can hear her throughout the whole house. Yeah. She can't keep a secret because everyone can hear what she's saying, essentially. Yeah, and she yeah, she she, she does things like um, she like has a, a gratitude book. And so, say for example, I'm in. I'm Georgia. I'm writing in my gratitude book. I, I sit next to Joss and I go, "Dear God, I am so grateful for Joss. Joss is the best person." Oh, did you? Oh, yeah. I'm just really, just like writing in my book. 
And it's just like, oh, but you're trying too hard all the time mm. to, to please everyone. And it's, yeah, it's, it's cringe sometimes. Well, what about fellow finalist and champ Jordan? His uh, weakness. His weakness, yeah, he can't, he can't bite his tongue. Uh, like, he, uh, yeah. and he knows that. And he's an amazing player, but he just, uh, he just can't bite his tongue. If someone's annoying him, he'll just tell him to <laughs> shut up. TJ, yeah. I'm arguing with TJ yep. at one point. He, he has to have the last word. But other than that, that guy's a beast. He is a beast. I mean, he talks the talk, but he can also walk the walk, so I'll give him credit no, for 100%. that. What about Roger. Kaylee? She oh, can't she, swim. She can't, she can't <laughs> swim. Too soon? Yeah, no, no, it's all right. <laughs> um, she she loves drama so much as well, though, which is like, like a bit of a killer. Um, yeah, she brings drama to our front doorstep quite a lot, doesn't she? Oh, yeah. What about Theo, the guy who probably went into, you know, the most, had to beat the most players this season? You're just too tall. Theo. <laughs> Theo. Yeah, um, no. He, again, like, he's got like mouth Jordan, he just runs his mouth and he likes to tell everyone he's the best all the time. And fair enough, he's a great competitor, but people don't want to hear it. Um, sometimes you've got to stay humble. And he can't drink. Oh, yeah, for a big guy, he can't handle a Pinot Grigio. Oh. Uh <laughs> Pinot Grigio? So, he's he's drinking Pinot yeah. Grigio? He's trying. And that, he's is, failing. that is <laughs> embarrassing. the best tea. All right, what about Wes? He tried to. Uh, he slid in so many people's DMs, and it was just obvious. And he thought he had the whole house figured out before he even went in. And even when we, he spoke to us on the first night, I was like, this guy's like... Just, just, just tried too just hard. Tried way but too it's hard. like he's too proud of his achievements. Fair enough if you're politic and you're doing it well, but you like need to tell everyone what you're doing. It's like that defeats the whole point. Then people know know your game, and you're gonna get you're gonna get caught up. Yeah. Do you think he's the smartest player? Yes. Wow. But but his again sometimes he try he, he tries too hard with it. He, he wants everyone to know he's the smartest player, and it gets him in trouble. Yeah. All right. Last but not least, I gotta ask <laughs> about Polly. He's just fucking. I'm sorry. He's just crazy. He's he's um he's like. He wants to be the Joker, basically, like of Batman, and he literally, his head works like that. He just loses his head sometimes. Like, he's very unpredictable. Hey, great player, great politicker, um, but yeah, just, uh, just a bit cuckoo. Yeah. Well, I imagine it's pretty easy to do that in the Challenge House. Joss Rogan, thank mm -hmm. you so much for chatting with me today. I can't wait for the new season of the Challenge to start, and good luck at Chippendales.